Hey, it's Mary Beth. <sighs> I'm tired because I've been cleaning. Have you ever had spring cleaning that completely got out of hand? As in, you ended up ripping a whole area of your house, your studio, whatever, your office, <laughs> where you rip it all up, it gets way worse before it gets better. Yeah, well, uh-huh, that's what I've just done. So I thought I'd bring you along for a new studio tour and I'll explain why I cleaned up my studio and did what I did. So I'm gonna turn the camera and then I'll show you around. First of all, just let me say I adore my studio. It is my little girl cave. It's where I can hang out, do all my stuff. And I love it in every single way but it wasn't serving my needs, and this is what necessitated a change. The change involved getting rid of a bunch of stuff, quite frankly. So come inside and I'll show you what I did. First of all, I have four separate workstations. Yes, I realize that I am totally spoiled. The first workstation is here, which is kind of dedicated to the art journal practice. I can have a friend over, okay, it's always Mary, sitting across from me and we can art journal. I have reorganized everything here. This thing of drawers, you see these drawers right here? I kind of put the stuff I use in art journaling in separate areas there. I have a little section of stencils here just for art journaling my washi tapes, my little Ikea bins, my Goldens, my paper artsies. And yeah, it'll probably never be this clean again. <laughs> oh my God, seriously, right? Okay, next, the filming area. This will always remain the filming area because I have so much that I have to film and I do a lot of live streams and so on and so forth. But one of the things was it struck me, I was kind of being held back by the physical limitations of the space. Does that make sense? I feel a little bit like I'm kind of in a little cave when I'm there filming. Like I can't, I don't know, I'm limited by the height of the, the lights and so forth. So this will be the filming space, but that's probably all I'm gonna do in this space for the most part. I have everything within an arm's reach of me when I'm here filming. So if I forget to lay out the things I need, it is all here. I'm gonna pull out the chair so you can see under the table, the organization I've got going on. And yeah, this is big. It took forever. I mean forever for me to get this together the way I wanted. I can easily swivel from my chair to round behind while I'm filming, grab something. I probably just made you really dizzy with that move. I'm so sorry. But anyway, I have a lot right there and it's pretty handy. So it'll either be a small project space or my filming area. This next part in the middle of the room, this is gonna be a wet, dirty mark making, start stuff, bigger space. Of course, these four pieces I have laid out here that are just starts are not really very big, but they were wet and they were messy and that's why they were started out here. The things against this wall are more organization stuff. I finally put all my tissues in a big bin and then all my napkins in a big bin because you know what? It just had gotten ridiculous to store them. It really had. And I thought, I need to just get a huge bin and throw them in there. I reorganized all the art, restaged it. New season, new organization. It feels so refreshing, you guys. I cannot tell you. I am so invigorated now. I just run in here and I'm just thrilled. Down on the floor, that's kind of a... That's the one hot mess of stuff. Things, one's a, a piece where my cradle fell off the back. Yeah, look at that, it fell right off the wall. Things that need to be redone, whatever. And then this area back here, this is my design and layout area. I keep it dry, I keep it clean. And it's a good space for me to sit 
and do design and layout. I still have my kitchen or, well, I call it a kitchen, kind of a little wannabe kitchen. And I have some large bins back here that I frankly just got tired and couldn't do any more. So that's where they are. It's my recycle on the top. And then coming around in here, I redid my whole bathroom. I'm gonna, <laughs> John installed that utility sink for me. See it? It's pretty fantastic. I had a sink in there before that was perhaps the size of a dinner plate at best. I mean, just way too small, right? So I'm not gonna turn the light on because the fan goes on and it's pretty loud, but we put this in, including this sweet little lamp right above the mirror, that hanging lamp, and it just really pleases me. I have a little altar area here, and then my closet, which is actually fairly organized. I have backup stuff in there, supplies, substrates, pretty much using every inch of space, vacuum, iron, ha! Huh. And then of course, my seating area, which I hang out in and I love when I have guests over. And I usually end up eating my lunch here most days. I love my studio space so much. I've had bigger studios, I've had smaller studios. I love every single one I have. And what I find is it's just my personal space. So whatever it is you do, carve out a space for yourself. That would be my one suggestion. Make a space your own. If it is the size of a closet or the top of an ironing board like my mom does, just make it yours and enjoy your art process. Thanks for watching. I hope this gave you a little peek into my world.